Okay, Michael Barish is one of my favorite kids I've ever had here. I'm telling you this honestly, he is a wonderful, wonderful human being and a good baseball player. He contacted us in April, he had already committed to us, and he contacted us in April of his junior year and wanted to see if we would be open to the idea of him coming in early, a year early. I, I was opposed to it, quite frankly. I don't think a, a boy should do that. Um, I think they should, you know, let their their lives run its natural course and have their experiences. But he was so emphatic about it for his own personal yeah. reasons. I ended up going down to his home in West Palm Beach, sitting with his parents and him, and having a very honest and frank conversation about whether or not he this was really the best thing for him to do. And he was adamant about it. he really wanted to do it. So we can't. We, we we went ahead and let him come in in January. And he played some, and he did okay. I love Michael, honestly. I, I thought he was a good ball player, too. Went away that summer and had a, a just an okay summer. Came back in the fall, and, and we had just lost Ty Ross as our starting catcher, and we had four catchers. Michael Barish, Nate Civic was new, Chris Chenea was in his sophomore year, and Tyler Moore was in his junior year. And, we, and every one of those four catchers played an equal amount during fall practice. They, they'd each catch every other day and play first base on the day that they weren't playing in the game behind the plate in these inter-squad scrimmages. And it was really apparent at the end of the fall that the other three guys had outplayed Michael. And so when I sat down with him at the end of the fall and I explained that situation to him, he, he didn't disagree with me. And I said, Michael, you could stay and be a part of the program. I'd love to have you. I think you're a wonderful young man and I, and I hope you will stay. But it is now your sophomore year because you came out a year early. So if if you play this year, and remember now, Savick's coming back, Chenea's coming back, we don't know if Tyler Moore will sign or not. It could be a similar situation the following year for you. So he, he went home that night, he called his parents, he talked to, to his high school coach. His high school coach talked to a junior college coach down in South Florida at Palm Beach Junior College. And they felt that it was in his best interest to get an opportunity to play. And so he came back the next day and, and, and talked to me. I mean, we had, we embraced. It was it was very very cordial. I only wanted what was best for him. In fact, the next spring, uh, that spring, later that spring, we played at Texas A&M, and I saw Michael Barish there on a in an official visit to Texas A&M, and Rob Childress, the coach for Texas A&M, and m and I talked before the game. And Rob asked me, Paul, will you please give me your honest assessment of Michael Barish? And I gave him nothing but a glowing recommendation, and Rob will verify that. And I told him, I said, you'll never have a, a more wonderful human being, and he's a good ball player. He just, we had three other catchers that I thought were above him, and he thought it was in his best interest to go somewhere where he could play. So I wouldn't think he has any animosity at all. I can tell you we don't. I, I love the kid, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing him and saying hello to him. Have you watched him? Does he become the kind of player you thought he would yeah, become? Yeah, I think he has. He's, you know, the little bit that I've watched, he, he looks to be their their starting catcher now. That's, you know, their best defensive option. I think he's hitting about 260, which is about what I thought he might hit. Uh, a little bit of power on occasion, which is what I thought he might do. Uh, but he's he's handling the staff and he's doing a good job behind the play. I'm, I'm extremely happy for him. I'm glad he he landed at a really good place that was in need of a catcher. And, uh, and he's helping him, helping him do well. I'm, I'm really happy for him. I, 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 I tell you that from the bottom of my heart.